Ghost in the Shell continues to move forward. Of course, we've got the director from Snow White and the Huntsman is directing it. We've known that for a while. It's been rumored for a little while that Scarlett Johansson was going to take the lead in the film, and apparently now it's done. That's a signed deal. It's official. Scarlett Johansson will be starring in Ghost in the Shell. Schnepp, you just read about this story this morning. What do you think? Is this a good fit? Well, um, I like it because I love Scarlett Johansson, but being a fan of Ghost in the Shell too, it seems kind of strange that they would cast an American Caucasian woman to play this role. But in the same breath, I think it's you know who the actor is. And Scarlett Johansson is a great actress and she can carry the film from America all around the globe. She's a global actress and that's why she was cast. I don't think it has anything to do with her being a white female Caucasian. You know, I think it's just because she has box office clout. She can carry a movie. She carried Lucy, and that was a piece of crap. <laughs> you know, and, but yet that made a lot enough money to be like, all right, look, she can carry her own films, which she was great in Under the Skin. She's an incredible actress, so I'm really excited to see her take on Ghost in the Show. Christian, yeah, I agree. I think that it, it makes sense of why she was cast for everything Schnepp just said was that it, it's she's a box office action feminine star. She really, she's a box office action star in general. Um, what I worry about is not only because she's Caucasian, it's the fact that she's, I don't want her to get oversaturated. Like that every, every single time they go to the female action star, they go to Scar you know, Scarlett Johansson. I, I would like to maybe see someone else, but I understand why they did it. It's, it's, it's a popular title, but it's also, this is, this is a movie star that is going to sell tickets. I like Scarlett Johansson very much. I'm not going to complain about it as I'm watching the movie. And I also agree, Lucy was a piece of crap. <laughs> uh, I, see, from, there are two points of view on this. The first point of view is from the studio's point of view. From the studio's point of view, this is a great move. I mean, she is, you're saying she's one of the few viable female action stars. And we wouldn't have necessarily thought of Scarlett Johansson just a few years ago as an action star. But now outside of Black Widow, she just did Lucy. This feels very Lucy-ish to me. Um, and so absolutely, totally see it. I'm a little befuddled, I guess, from her point of view. I, I'm, I, this is a girl who can be, who is an Oscar level actress, who can do a lot of stuff, who's already got a lot of action under her belt and more action coming up with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It does seem like an odd choice for her, for her at this point, but from a studio's point of view, from a fan point of view, I love it. Anyway, what do you I think? I think she gets to be the star of a franchise and not just one of the Avengers. I mean, you look at what kind of movie this is and what the plot is where it's basically combating cyber terrorism, which does that sound like somebody we could use? Like, <laughs> right, right, right. That's awesome. And I think that she is the perfect one to play it. So she's not just beating people up. And she's great. At, I mean, even look at what she's done with the Black Widow character, yeah. where that could have been yeah. a throwaway character. Like, yeah, you don't have superpower. What are you going to do? She actually makes herself part of a valuable part of that team so I think with this she gets to be the lone star I think that's pretty exciting hey everyone if you like this video click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC movie news YouTube channel it's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC movie talk show also make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions contests and prize giveaways